Hello everyone, welcome to the 7th compilation of GK Today's Static Quiz. In case you missed any of the last 20 quizzes, you can catch up here. In case you are all caught up, this will help you revise. In which among the following years, the modern Olympic Games were held for the first time? So the correct answer for this is 1896. So for the first time, the Olympic Games were held in 1896 as Summer Olympics. So this was known as Summer Olympics as uh, we have now every four years. It's still Summer Olympics and Winter, Winter Olympics is a separate event. It was held uh, by, uh, by the International uh, or Olympic Committee. So it was held by the International Olympic Committee which still holds the game and also uh, it had been created by Pierre de Coubertin. So, by the International Olympic Committee and it was held by Pierre de Coubertin. Uh, these aren't names exactly that you need to remember. Uh, but I'm just noting it down just in case you're interested. Okay. Uh, it was held in Athens in Greece, which is where the ancient Olympics were held. Other than that, only thing you need to remember is it was held in 1896 between 6th and 15th April. Okay. Which among the following incidents established the supremacy of the British uh, over the French? So the correct answer is Battle of Wandiwash, which was held in 1760, after which the French capital of Pondicherry fell to the British. It was uh, in 1761. Who among the following headed the advisory committee on fundamental rights, minorities and tribal and excluded areas, which was a committee under the Constituent Assembly. Um, so advisory committee on fun fundamental rights. This was a subcommittee that was held um, that was under the Constituent Assembly who were preparing the constitution. Uh, they met for the first time. The Constituent Assembly met for the first time in the year uh, 1946 on December 9. So 1946, December 9 is the first meeting of, and uh, there was an idea to dedicate the chapter on fundamental rights and it was not opposed by any member. Uh, so the advisory committee dealt with uh, rights of citizens, um, which is of course fundamental rights and rights of my minorities, tribals and any excluded areas as such. And it was head headed by Vallabhai Patel. Which among the following treaty was signed after Battle of Buxar? So uh, the important outcome of the Battle of Buxar Treaty which was uh, in Allahabad, was, uh, which was signed on 16th August 1765 and between Lord Clive and Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II. So, Battle of Buxar led to the signing of the Treaty of Allahabad in, uh, in the year uh, 1765 uh, between the then Mughal Emperor who was Shah II so this was between between Shah II and the British representative at that time, Lord Clyde. Okay. So Shah II uh, submitted to the British in battle. As per this treaty, Mughal Emperor granted fiscal rights or financial rights or and administrative uh, rights of the territory. Uh, to collect taxes, etc., to East India Company. So, technically, East India Company became the entity that ruled uh, Bihar, Bengal, and Orissa. So, this uh, the only Diwani they got is so East India Company got 
Diwani of Bengal, Bihar, and Orissa. So Bengal, Bihar, and Orissa. Okay. So company gave an annual tribute of twenty six lakhs to the Mughals. You don't actually need to remember the exact amount. All of that is not uh, very important. Um, the districts of Kora and Allahabad were returned to the Mughal Emperor. Awad was returned to Shuja Abdullah, but Allahabad and Kora was taken from him. The Nawab of Awad pay, uh, paid fifty three lakh rupees of war indemnity to the British. So not only did uh, the Mughal Emperor lose, the Emperor of or uh, Nawab of Awad also lost. Also, Clive in person settled the fate of almost half of northern India because he owned almost the half of northern India from these emperors. What was the original requirement of Magna Carta? So, Magna Carta Libertatum is commonly known as Magna Carta, which means to bring, uh, which brings power of king under law. It is a charter of rights agreed to by King John of um, England. So, what is it? It's a charter of rights, and it was agreed to by then King, which is uh, John of England. Okay, so uh, it was agreed to near Runnymede, which is near Windsor. So, if you've been noticing, Windsor is uh, a title at, at the moment used by the current British family as well, British royal family. I mean, okay. Um, so it was near uh, Runny at Runnymede, which is a place near uh, Windsor, and uh, it was signed on fifteenth of June, twelve thousand and fifteen. So fifteenth of June. Twelve thousand and fifteen. Goa was declared as India's twenty-fifth state in which among the following years? On sixteenth May nineteen seventy-five, Sikkim became a part of India. So sixteenth May nineteen seventy-five was for Sikkim. Okay, when was Goa? So Goa became a part of India much later in 1987. So Sikkim was the 22nd state of the Indian Union. The state's monarchy was abolished when it uh, became a part of India, and in 1987, uh, Goa became a part of India. Other than that, Arunachal Pradesh and also Mizoram, these also became part of India. So uh, Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram, these came to in February of the twentieth. Goa became a part of India on thirtieth May. Okay. Oh, also while Goa's northern exclaves of Daman and Diu and Dadra Nagar Haveli also became separate union territories. So other than these, uh, so Daman and Diu. Which used to be separate states than India became a part of India as union territories. Also, Dadra Nagar Haveli. These became a part of India. Maza Nama was declared by who? The correct answer is Akbar. So, in fifteen seventy nine, Maza Nama was declared by Akbar. So it was declared in fifteen seventy nine. So the emperor declared that if there was any confliction in the views of debaters, he was entitled to choose any interpretation. So this had to do with settlement of debates. So this is what Mazanama included. With this, Akbar pounced upon the dominance of the intolerant Orthodox and allowed free development of a genuine religious spirit. Mazarnama was actually the idea of father of Abu Fazl and Fazi, said that the authority of king was higher than that of a uh, mujtahid or doctor of faith. 
Swaraj Party was outcome of which among the following incidents? The correct answer is Chauri Chaura. So, Swaraj Party, this was formed on 9th of January 1923. So, this formed on 9th January 1923 as a result of the Chauri Chaura incident. So, what was the Chauri Chaura incident? This is something that happened in uh, 1922. In fifth of, uh, on 5th of February. So, this happened on 1922 on 5th of February in Chauri Chaura where a bunch of uh, police officers were attacked and killed by the mob. So, in response to that, Gandhiji abolished the civil disobedience movement that was gaining momentum in India as a part of the freedom struggle. Uh, not many people agreed to it. Even the uh, in National Congress at the time did not agree to it. However, uh, people followed suit when Mahatma Gandhi said something. And Swaraj Party was formed as a protest to Gandhiji's decision. In 1956, during reorganization of the Indian states, the state of Hyderabad was split up between Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Karnataka. So, all uh, these uh, states had a part of what was then known as Hyderabad and when it was reorganized uh, by uh, reorganization of Indian states in 1956. So, uh, reorganization of Indian states is a term you need to remember. This happened in 1956 and that's when Hyderabad became a part of uh, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Karnataka. So, Hyderabad not, not as the entity that we know it right now as in the geographical area that constituted Hyderabad at that time. In which year states reorganization act went into effect? So, the correct answer is again 1956 as we just studied. So, if you are going to see in the map, you can see that uh, all these, this area, right? This, this blue area is where uh, the reorganization took place. So, you can see if uh, the color coded like which part is Madras state, which is Andhra state, which is Hyderabad state. So, these were all princely states, right? So, they were separated into states, like states as we know it uh, currently. Which among the following is called Mother of Pearl? The correct answer is Nekar. So, Nekar is also known as Mother of Pearl. So, Nekar is a organic and inorganic composite material. So, composite means something that is a mixture. Okay. So, um, so it is produced by some molars as a inner shell. And it is also what makes up the outer coating of pearls. So, pearls come out of this clam-like structure that outer coating, the harder outer coating is made of this. It is strong, resilient and iridescent. Nebular hypothesis is a theory which is related to origin of the following. Nebular hypothesis is mo most widely accepted in the field of cosmogony. So, basically this is a model hypothesis which means uh, it is something on which we base a creation or some sort of system. In this case, uh, this is something that explains the formation and evolution of the solar system. It suggests that the solar system is formed from the nebulous material. New Moor Island is located in, okay, so you can already see in the map, right? So, New Moon Island is located in the uh, Bay of Bengal. So, New Moor was, which is also known as the New Moor Island in India and South Talpati Island in Bangladesh. It is an uninhabited island which emerged in the Bay of Bengal in the aftermath of Bhola cyclone in 1970. So, before the cyclone, we didn't know this existed. It appeared in 1970 as an aftermath to the Bhola cyclone. Okay. So, uh, it has been created by the Delta Currents and it was located in the south of Haryabhanga River. Now, it has again disappeared due to the rising sea level. 
Which among the following is the busiest ocean trade route? The correct answer is North Atlantic route. So it connects European states with the American part. So this is of course the busiest trade route since a long time. On June 21st, the sun is vertically overhead of which of the following? So let's see. In the diagram, we can see that the sun is vertically overhead the Tropic of Cancer. So the correct answer is Tropic of Cancer. So 21st June is also known as the summer solstice in Northern Hemisphere. It is the winter solstice in Southern Hemisphere accordingly. Open sky policy is related to which of the following? So open sky refers to an agreement between two countries that allow a number of airlines to fly from either of them without any restriction on the number of flights, number of destinations, number of seats, price and so on. However, this is a general definition. In actual practice, there is always some restriction. But however, what we can agree on is open sky policy is a aviation related term. In which among the following petroleum in India is found chiefly? So the correct answer is sedimentary rocks. So on the map you'll see like there are uh, different color codes for places which have petroleum mining within India shores and some are offshore. Petroleum is mostly found under sedimentary rocks because sedimentary rocks are uh, younger than 600 million years and they have fossils trapped under them which have formed petroleum and other related stuff. So petroleum is a fossil fuel as you all know. The winds which never change the direction are called planetary winds. So you can see here that uh, we have a polar front of warmer air, air rises and low pressure. So the pressure difference created due to the temperature difference on the planet causes planetary winds. The wind and pressure systems of the Pacific confirm closely with planetary system. So Pacific winds are the closest winds which are in accordance to planetary winds. So they are used to study planetary winds also. In which of the following climates pine trees grow? So pine trees have needle-like leaves, which means as you can see, these have needle-like leaves, uh, which are very attuned to uh, temperatures, which are very low and uh, also don't get much of water and all of that. So these are mostly uh, found in cold climates, but also in warm climates. And the correct answer for this is coniferous. Rhodesia is the old name of which place? So this is what Rhodesia is. Rhodesia was a country in southern Africa. So this only existed between 1965 to 1979. So what is it known as in modern day? In modern day, it is equivalent in territory to Zimbabwe. So the correct answer is Zimbabwe. Which of the following is India's first nuclear reactor? The correct answer is Apsara. Apsara is India's first nuclear reactor. It was built by Papa Atomic Research Center and it became active on 4th of August 1956. It is not only India's first nuclear reactor but also Asia's first. Deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets. So what are the causes of vitamin D deficiency? So some of the causes are deficiency of sunlight Others include, say, if you're not eating proper uh, food, if you're eating strict vegetables and uh, no meat, but you're not adhering to a proper diet. Also, you have some milk allergies, etc. It tends to happen. There are certain uh, food like fish liver oils, egg yolk, some uh, types of fishes, which also have natural vitamin D, which can be taken up by your body. The Vijay Stamb of Chitorgarh was built to commemorate the victory of Rana Kumb in which among the following battles? The correct answer is Battle of Sarangpur. So Battle of Sarangpur happened in April 26 of 1443. It happened between Rana Kumb and the Sultan, the current Sultan of that time, following an indecisive battle between the Sultan and him. Uh, the Sultan returned to Mandu. 
Now the Sultan attacked again in November 1443, capturing Gagra and adjoining forts. But the capture of Chittor eluded him. So Chittor was very famous for being so heavily fortified that nobody could conquer it. And um, the Sultan then fought and lost in the Battle of Malnalgar and Banas. In order to commemorate his resounding victory over the combined armies of Malwa and Gujarat in 1440 AD, Rana Kum got the famed 37 meter high nine story Vijay Stamp erected in Chitorgarh, completed in 1448 AD. Who among the following kings of Rajasthan was a victim of patricide? Patricide means killing of your own father. And uh, in a, a patricide, Rana Kumbha was killed by his son Uday Singh or Uday Singh I. His achievements, however, continue to inspire successive generations of Indians. For how long a joint sitting of both the houses of Parliament may be convened to consider a bill which was passed by one house and pending in another house? The correct answer is six months. A bill which requires special majority in both the houses cannot be introduced. in a joint session of parliament only the bills which require simple majority in both houses whether lok sabha and rajya sabha are having conflict can be introduced or passed in a joint session so 6 months is the maximum time they can take if that time has elapsed from the date of reception of the bill by either houses without the bill being passed it is considered a deadlock between the two houses on a constitution amendment bill that cannot be any joint sitting like uh, currently uh, you must be reading about the 10% quota for economically backward general classes so that sort of bill needs to be passed separately in both houses which year did the interim government of india or arzi hukumat e hind was formed by subhash chandra bose so this happened in the year 1943 where he established the provincial government of azad hind also known as Arzi Hukumat e Hind in Singapore. It was supported by Nazi Germany, Italian Social Republic, and their allies. Under the provincial government, Bose was PM and Minister of War, and Foreign Affairs Raj Bihari Bose was designated as Supreme Advisor. Captain Lakshmi headed the women's organization. In which year Dogri language was included in the age schedule of Indian Constitution? So Dogri language came into the constitution in 2003 also it came um, via the 92nd amendment bill and uh, the four new languages that were added together were bodo maithili dogri and santhali each schedule is the schedule that contains all the official languages uh, that can be used within india to, uh, to perform any government tasks etc hornbill festival is a celebration in Which state? The correct answer is Nagaland. It is held in the first week of December. It is one of the biggest indigenous festivals. The festival is a tribute to Hornbill, the most admired and revered bird for the Nagas for its quality of alertness and grandeur. Liberhan Commission was established to probe into which among the following? The correct answer is the Babri Mosque demolition. The Liberhan Commission or the Liberhan Commission of Enquiry was a long-running inquiry commissioned by the government of India to investigate the destruction of the disputed structure Babri Masjid in Ayodhya in 1992. Led by the retired High Court Judge M S Liberhan, it was formed on 16 December 1992 by an order of the Indian Home Union Ministry after the demolition of Babri Masjid in Ayodhya. on 6 december and the subsequent riots there the commission was originally mandated to submit its report within 3 months extensions were given 48 times and after a delay of 17 years the one man commission submitted its report to prime minister on 30th june 2009 so it took 17 years for the commission to finally submit the results and we got the results of the 1992 riot in 2009 department of industrial policy and promotion is a subordinate office of which of the following ministries department of industrial policy and promotion or diwp 
was first established in 1995 and then reorganized in 2000 and merged with the Department of Industrial Development. The department falls under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and it looks at the overall industrial policies whereas separate departments specialize in specific areas allocated to them. Its main responsibility includes formulation of promotional and developmental measures to boost industrial sector. The DAVP or Directorate of Advertising and Visual Publicity is a subordinate office of which of the following. DAVP is a nodal agency to undertake multimedia advertising and publicity for various ministries. So what it does is it makes ads and uh, designs publicity campaigns for government bodies and many autonomous bodies also use DAVP as a service agency. It endeavors to communicate at grassroots level on behalf of various central government ministries. So it is of course a part of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. So any ads you see run by the government, this is the agency that's making them. Which among the following can be called a writ of prohibition? The correct answer is a writ issued by Supreme Court or High Court to inferior court. So what writ of prohibition means is that a higher court like Supreme Court or High Court may prohibit the lower courts such as special tribunals, magistrates, commissions, etc. that something they are doing is beyond their jurisdiction or they are acting contrary to the rule of natural justice. An example would be if a judicial officer has personal interest in a case, it may hamper the decision on the course of natural justice. National Integration Council was created for making welfare measures for who? The National Integration Council or NIC was set up in June of 1962 by our then Prime Minister Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru to address the problems of communalism and regionalism in India. It is chaired by the Prime Minister of India and it has members from union ministers to leaders of opposition in the Lok and Rajya Sabha. It has chief minister of states, union territories, leaders of national and regional political parties, basically almost everyone, including eminent journalists and other public figures who can have a say in the matter. Then IC had set up standing committees, subcommittees and subgroups over the years to discuss on specific problems. The NIC is an extra constitutional body which does not have either statutory or constitutional backing. So the correct answer is all minorities. Who among the following is called the guardian of public purse? Now that would be the controller and auditor general of India. So what the controller and auditor general does is he is or she is the person who is in charge of all receipts and expenditures by the government of India and anybody which is substantially financed by the government. So the correct answer is CAG. Which among the following articles of Indian constitution gives right to the Attorney General of India to speak in House of Parliament or their committee? So any and all rights or any power that the Attorney General of India has is due to the Article 76. So Article 76 revolves around the Auditor General of India. Who is the Auditor General? He is the government's chief legal advisor and the primary lawyer for the government in the Supreme Court of India. He is appointed by the President of India according to the Constitution and he holds office during the pleasure of the President. He must be a person who is qualified to be appointed as a judge of the Supreme Court. In which year first official language commission was constituted? So the correct answer is 1955. The first official commission was constituted under BG Care as the chairman. Appointed in 1955, it submitted its report in 1956 which was presented to the parliament in 1957 and examined by a joint parliamentary committee. The system of proportional representation is used in India to elect who? 
Okay, before we go to that, uh, what is proportional representation? So proportional representation is the other way of having members in governing bodies other than election. So our upper house, like the Rajya Sabha, is actually based on proportional representation system. Based on their strength in a state assembly, political parties can nominate their members to the upper house. The same system is followed while electing members of legislative council from the state assemblies. The president also comes under this umbrella. So the correct answer here is president. The other three options we have, prime minister, governor, members of parliament, these are all elected members. The schedule of the Indian constitution divides the powers between union and states. So what do you mean by divide? So basically there are three lists. What are these lists? One is the union list. The other is the states list. And there's one list which is common to the states and the union. That is known as concurrent list. So the constitution provides in India on the subject of distribution of legislative powers between union and states defined under several articles. The most important in this regard is specifically article 245 and 246. The seventh schedule of the constitution of India defines these allocation of powers and functions between union and states according to these three lists. Which of the following posts is not mentioned in the constitution? The correct answer is the Solicitor General of India. The Solicitor General is subordinate to the Attorney General of India and he assists as the second law officer of the country. He also has people who assist him, additional Solicitors General of India. There are four of them. Currently, the Solicitor General is Tushar Mehta. However, unlike the post of Attorney General for India, which is a constitutional post under Article 76, the post of Solicitor Generals of India is statutory. That is, it is not mentioned in the constitution, but it is built according to our convenience. Zebra fish, which has been genetically modified to blowfish to be sold as a pet, is native to which among the following countries? So, zebra fish is a freshwater fish belonging to the minnow family of the order Cyprinoforms. It's native to the Himalayan region and it is popular as aquarium fish frequently sold under the trade name zebra tanium. The fish got its common name from the presence of five uniform and pigmented horizontal stripes on the side of its body that resemble the stripes of a zebra. And the correct answer here is it's native to India and Sri Lanka. Kotawa Timba, which contains ruins of an ancient Harappan city, is located in which among the following states? So, uh, the, it's actually the city of Dholavira, which is locally known as Kotawa Timba. And the site contains ruins of ancient Indus Valley civilization and it's a Harappan city. It's in the state of Gujarat. Which among the following diseases is not caused by virus? The correct answer is cholera. So cholera is a, a infectious disease that causes severe watery diarrhea which can lead to dehydration and even death if untreated. It is caused by eating food or drinking water contaminated with a bacterium called Vibrio cholerae. If rupee changes from rupee 68 equals to $1 to rupee 67.50 equals to $1, then which among the following would have set to occur? So currency appreciation is a word that we use, which means to increase the value of currency in the world, whereas currency depreciation is a fall in the value of a currency in a floating exchange rate system. In this case, the value of dollar fell with respect to the value of rupee, hence it depreciated. The correct answer being a depreciation of the dollar. The Rangpo Sevok railway line connects which among the following two states of India. So if you look at the map, it connects Sikkim and West Bengal. It is a 45 kilometer long line and it will have 14 tunnels 
28 bridges. Antodaya Anna Yojana or AAY was launched in December of 2000. AAY, under the scheme, 1 crore of the poorest among the BPL families are covered under the target public distribution system. 25 kilograms of food grains were made available to each eligible family at a highly subsidized rate of Rs 2 per kg for wheat and Rs 3 per kg for rice. The quantity has been enhanced from 25 to 35 kgs with effect from April 2002. The food grains procured by the government through FCI is distributed to the poor section of the society through ration shops. The ration shops are called fair price shops. So uh, Indian foods established are by the government of India under Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution is to give subsidized food and non-food item to India's poor. A public distribution shop also known as fair price shop is a part of India's public system established by the government of India which distributes rations at a subsidized price to the poor. Locally, these are known as ration shops and public distribution shops and chiefly sell wheat, rice and sugar at a price lower than the market price which is called the issue price. The correct answer here is fair price shops. In order to help the poor straight out of society, the government provides them food grains from the buffer stock at a price much lower than the market price. What is this subsidized price called? So just in the previous answer, we learned that this pricing is known as issue price. So the correct answer here is A, issue price. The Food Corporation of India was set up under the Food Corporation Act 1964 in which year? The correct answer is 1965. The nodal agency in food management is Food Corporation of India, which is responsible to procure, store and distribute the food grains. FCI is a statutory body established by a Food Corporation Act 1964 to meet the following objectives of food policy. A. Effective price support operations for safeguarding the interest of farmers. Distribution of food grains throughout the country for public distribution system. C. Maintaining satisfactory level of operational and buffer stocks of food grains to ensure national food security. For the purpose of its functions, FCI has been divided into five zones or the country has been divided into five zones. Out of them, the largest zone is North Zone, comprising of eight states including Punjab and Haryana. Which city is known as the Rice Bowl of Tamil Nadu? The correct answer is Thanjavur. Thanjavur is known as the Rice Bowl of Tamil Nadu. Paddy or unmilled rice is the crop that is mainly grown there and the other crops grown are black gram, banana, coconut, gingerly, ragi, red gram, green gram, sugarcane and maize. The total percentage of land fit for cultivation is 58%. One minute of arc of latitude along any meridian is also known as one nautical mile. A nautical mile is a unit of measurement used both in air and marine navigation and for the definition of territorial waters. Historically, it was defined as one minute or one sixtieth of a degree of latitude. Today, it is defined as 1852 meters. The derived unit of speed is the knot or nautical mile per hour. Which among the following is considered to be a part of shadow banking in India? The correct answer is non-banking financial companies. Shadow banking refers to all the non-bank financial intermediaries that provide services similar to those of traditional commercial banks. They generally carry out traditional banking functions but do so outside the traditional system of regulated depository institutions. Shadow banking has grown in importance in the last decade or so and was one of the primary factors in the subprime mortgage crisis of 2007-2008 and the global recession that followed it. Which among the following state is the highest producer of soybean in India? With 12 million tons of production, 
Soybean is one of the fastest growing crops in India. Soybean is grown as a Kharif crop in India and the top three largest soybean producers are Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra have 45 and 40% 40 share in production respectively. So the correct answer here is Madhya Pradesh. Which among the following is the largest producer of wheat in India? Wheat is India's primary most staple harvest, placed second only to rice. It is mostly consumed in the north and northwest parts of the country, Uttar Pradesh being the topmost contributor of wheat with a total production of 25.22 million tons, followed by Punjab and Madhya Pradesh. So the correct answer here is Uttar Pradesh. Aam Admi Bhima Yojana or AABY was launched in which among the following years? Aam Admi Bhima Yojana was launched on October 2nd, 2007. So the correct answer is 2007. Insurance is what it deals with. Insurance for accidental death and partial permanent disability to the head of the family of rural households in the country. Provisions include A. The head of the family or one earning member in the family will be insured. B. The central government will bear 50% of the sum and the other 50% will be financed by the state government. Burn Convention is most closely related to what? Burn Convention for the Protection of Literary and Artistic Works, usually known as the Burn Convention, is an international agreement governing copyright which was first accepted in Bern, Switzerland in 1886. So it deals with copyrights. AOA in context with World Trade Organization is Agreement on Agriculture. So the pillars of World Trade Organization are 1. Multi-Fiber Agreement or MFA 2. Agreement on Agriculture or AOA Trade Related Investment Measures or TRIMS Trade Related Intellectual Property Right or TRIPS General Agreement on Trade and Services or GATS A gene is a functional unit of chromosomes. A gene is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity or chromosomes. Genes which are made up of DNA act as instructions to make molecules called proteins. In humans, genes vary in size from a few hundred DNA bases to more than 2 million bases. A neutron, an electron, a proton and an alpha particle are moving with the same kinetic energy. Which of the following is correct order of their speed? So alpha particle is the fastest followed by neutron, then proton and then electron. So option A is the correct answer. The Rural Infrastructure Development Fund or RIDF is used by the state governments to develop infrastructure in rural areas. Which of the following manages RIDF? The penalties levied on domestic commercial banks who fail to meet the PSL targets is the major source of Rural Infrastructure Development Fund funding. It is administered by NABAD. Which among the following was the first note known as Greenback issued in the United States? The correct answer is demand note. A demand note is a type of United States paper money that was issued between August 1861 and April 1862 during the American Civil War in denominations of 5, 10 and 20 US dollars. Because of the distinctive green ink on their reverse, these notes started to be called greenbacks, a name later inherited by legal tender and federal reserve notes as well. Kangeri Ghat Park is located in which among the following states of India? Kangeri Ghat National Park was uh, declared a national park in 1982 by the government of India. Among the various protected areas in the country, the Kange Na Valley National Park near Jagdalpur in the Bastar region of Chhattisgarh is one of the densest national parks. So the correct answer is Chhattisgarh. It is also well known for its biodiversity, landscape, waterfalls, subterranean geomorphologic limestone caves and home for the Bastar Hill Mana, the state bird of Chhattisgarh. Which among the following tributaries of Indas originates from the Lake Mansarovar? The correct answer is Satlej. The Satlej River is the longest among the 
five rivers that flow in the historic crossroad region of Punjab in the north India and Pakistan. So these five rivers are Jalam, Chenna, Ravi, Bias and Satlej, all of which are tributaries of the main river Indus as you can see on the map. Satlej is also known as Satadri and it is addressed as Shatarudra by the Gorkhalis. It is the easternmost tributary of the Indus river. What is the upper limit of election expense in a parliamentary constituency? As per the current norms, the maximum limit of election expenses per candidate is as follows. For Lok Sabha, it is 70 lakh for all states except Arunachal Pradesh, Goa and Sikkim, 54 lakh for Arunachal Pradesh, Goa and Sikkim, 70 lakh for Delhi and 54 lakh for other union territories. So the correct answer here is 70 lakhs. Also for assembly constituencies, it's 28 lakh for bigger states and in Delhi, 20 lakh for smaller states and union territories. Which industry flourishes in Coimbatore, Tirupur, Belt in Tamil Nadu? It is quite famous for its textiles. Which among the following is also known as London Club? The correct answer is Nuclear Suppliers Group which was formed by seven countries, which are Canada, West Germany, France, Japan, the USSR, the United Kingdom, and the United States. It was in response to the Smiling Buddha or Pokhran One of India in 1974. Which among the following is the theme of the 12th five-year plan? The 12th five-year plan was the last one before it got replaced by Niti Ayo. Its duration was from 2012 to 2017. Its main theme is faster, more inclusive and sustainable growth. So option D is your correct answer. Its growth rate target is 8%. However, the documents of Niti Aayog have no financial role. They are only policy guide maps for the government. Red data book is published by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. It is now known as the World Conservation Union and it has enlisted endangered plants and animals in the red data book. A session of the Lok Sabha is prorogued by the order of the president. So prorogation is the end of a session. A prorogation puts an end to a session and the time between the prorogation and the reassembly is called recess. Prorogation is the end of session and not dissolution of the house. While adjournment terminates a sitting, prorogation terminates a session. Dissolution terminates the Lok Sabha itself and needs fresh elections. While adjournment is done by the presiding officers like Speaker, Deputy Speaker in Lok Sabha and Chairman or Deputy Chairman in Rajya Sabha, prorogation is done by the President. Dissolution of Lok Sabha is also done by the President. The Government of India fixes the minimum support prices after taking into account the recommendations of which among the following bodies. The correct answer is Commission for Agricultural Costs and Prices. Assurance of a remunerative and stable environment is considered very important for increasing agricultural production and productivity since the marketplace for agricultural produce tends to be inherently unstable which often inflict undue losses on the growers even when they adopt the best available technology package and produce efficiently. Towards this end, minimum support prices for major agricultural products are fixed by the government each year after taking into account the recommendations of the Commission for Agricultural Costs and Prices or CSEP. For how many crops minimum support prices are announced in India? The correct answer is 27. The minimum support prices were announced by the Government of India for the first time in 1966-67 for wheat in the wake of green revolution and extended harvest to save the farmers from depleting profits. Since then, the minimum support price regime has been expanded to many crops. The current lot of crops are 14 Kharif crops, 6 Ravi crops and 2 other commercial crops. 
which among the following is the largest food grain producing state of India? The correct answer is Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh produces 43.2 million tons of food crops or food grains every year, followed by Punjab, then Madhya Pradesh, then West Bengal and so on. Which among the following is the largest maize producing state in India in 2009-10? The correct answer is Karnataka which produced 3 million tons of a maize. It was closely followed by Andhra Pradesh, then Maharashtra, then Bihar, then Rajasthan, then Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh and so on. Kharif crop is sown in July and harvested in October. Kharif crops or autumn crops are domesticated plants that are cultivated and harvested in India, Pakistan and Bangladesh during the summer season which lasts from June to October depending on the area. In some parts of the country apart from Rabi and Kharif, Z crops is grown from March to June which among the following comes under Z crops. So uh, Z crops are at least in the Indian subcontinent, crops grown on irrigated lands which do not have to wait for monsoons in the short duration between Rabi and Kharif crop season, mainly from March to June. These crops are mainly grown in the summer season during a period called Zaid crop season. Among this list, musk melon is a Zaid crop. Golden Rays project was launched in 2009 for increasing the productivity of which among the following in certain tribal districts of India. So the correct answer is maize. For increasing the productivity of maize in tribal districts namely Udaipur and Banaswara, the state government of Rajasthan launched a project called Golden Race from Kharif 2009 in the public-private partnership mode. Under this project, Quality seed grown by leading private sector companies was procured by the state government for supply to the farmers. Extension support for adoption of the recommended package of practices and market support for assured procurement of the produce was provided by the private sector companies. More than 1 million farmers have benefited under this scheme and the productivity of maize has improved substantially in this district. To protect the farmers of certain commodities against the backdrop of decline in unit value realization of these commodities at time falling below their cost of production, the Price Stabilization Fund was launched in 2003. The commodities are tea, coffee, rubber and tobacco. Which state is the largest producer of core cereals as per latest data from 2009 and 10? The correct answer is Maharashtra, which has produced 6.29 million tons of core cereals in 2009 and 10, followed by Karnataka, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, then Uttar Pradesh, then Madhya Pradesh, and so on. Government of India established Trived in August 1987 with an objective to save tribals from exploitation by private traders. Which among the following is the precise full form of Trived? The correct answer is Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India. At which among the following capitals of Northeast Indian states, the Cane and Bamboo Technology Center has been established in recent times? The correct answer is Guwahati. The CBTC established at Guwahati with support from the UNIDO project is supported by the Department of Science and Technology by the Government of India. It is tasked to identify and promote technologies enhanced income and employment in the Northeast, network with resource support and sectoral agencies, impart training and provide access to improved technologies, function as an information hub. IADP or Intensive Agricultural District Program was launched in 1960-61 in seven districts of India, which among the following is or are objective or objectives of this program. 1. Provide loan, seed, fertilizer and equipment to farmers. 2. Prepare an infrastructure for intensive farming. 3. Promote soil health programs. 
choose the correct option. The correct option are 1 and 2. So IATP was the first major experiment of Indian government in the field of agriculture and it was also known as package program as it was based upon the package approach. The program was launched in 1961 after the community development program lost she. The core philosophy was to provide loan for seeds and fertilizers to farmers. Intensive agricultural development program was started with the assistance of Ford Foundation. In which among the following states of India is the Shetkari Bazaar a concept of direct marketing by producer to consumers? Shetkari Bazaar is a concept of direct marketing by producers or farmers to consumers. By circumventing the intermediaries, the produce reaches in good shape with minimum handling. This result is better price realization for the farmer producer and good quality produce to the consumer at reasonable lower price. This is expected to help small farmers with small quantity of perishable fruit and vegetables to get a fair price and escape commercial exploitation in the marketplace. In 2002, the government of Maharashtra decided to set up Shatkari Bazaar in the state and the Maharashtra State Agriculture Marketing Board was appointed as the nodal agency for implementing this scheme. There are 12 Shatkari Bazaars operating in the state and 33 additional markets have been sanctioned. Agricultural Market Information System or AMIS, a collaborative food information initiative has been launched by WHO. In June 2011, the G20 Ministers of Agriculture, while recognizing the importance of timely and accurate and transparent information in addressing food price volatility, launched the Agricultural Market Information System, which is a collaborative food information initiative. AMIS is a platform through which countries, international organizations and the private sector can work together to strengthen synergies and collaboration in order to improve data reliability, timelines and frequency. AMIS will also build developing countries capacity in market outlook analysis and promote policy dialogue. The scientists have discovered that Milky Way is having two components, the disc and spherical. What may be the central object of Milky Way? So the central uh, area of Milky Way is known as the galactic center. The galactic center is the rotational center of the Milky Way. There is a supermassive black hole of 4.1 plus minus 0.034 million solar masses at the galactic center which powers the Sagittarius A star radio source. The Magellanic clouds are visible from. So Magellanic clouds are dwarf galaxies which we can see. They are two irregular dwarf galaxies visible from the southern hemisphere. They are members of the local group and are orbiting the Milky Way galaxy. The planetoids are located between which among the following. So they are located between Mars and Jupiter as you can see. They are basically asteroids, uh, asteroids in the asteroid belt. So what are asteroids? Asteroids are also called inner solar system. They are minor planets which are neither categorized as a planet or a comet. They are in direct orbit around the sun. They primarily remain on the circumstellar disk of gas around new stars and also the debris of the disk together. They are also known as planetoids and range in size from hundreds of miles to few feet. Most of them are irregular in shape. In our solar system, they are majorly found between Mars and Jupiter in the area known as the asteroid belt as you can see in the picture. The only planet that shows phases is Venus. So through a small telescope, it is possible to see Venus undergo phases just like the moon. This occurs because from our point of view on Earth, we see only the parts of Venus that are illuminated by sunlight at any given time. However, unlike the moon, though Venus is usually brighter to our view in its crescent phase than in its full phase. 
which among the following is the brightest star the correct answer is sirius the brightest star in the sky is sirius also known as the dog star or more officially alpha canis majoris for its position in the constellation canis major Sirius is a binary star dominated by a luminous main sequence star which is the Sirius A which among the following two gases contribute to the beginning of formation of stars the correct answer is hydrogen and helium hydrogen fusion that is nuclear fusion of four protons to form helium four nucleus is the dominant process that generates energy in the course of main sequence stars it is also called hydrogen burning which should not be confused with the chemical combustion of hydrogen in an oxidizing atmosphere this burning is strictly nuclear apart from saturn which of the following possess planetary ring system of their own the correct answer are jupiter uranus and neptune so all these three so four of the eight planets in the solar system have rings these four planets are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune saturn which has by far the largest ring system was known to have rings for a long time it was not until the 1970s that rings were discovered around other planets aurorae are produced by the collision of charged particles from earth's magnetosphere which arise due to what the correct answer is solar wind aurora was also known as polar lights which are northern lights are known as aurora borealis and southern lights are known as aurora australis it is a natural display of lights in the sky in arctic and antarctic region it is caused when streams of charged particles from sun collide with particles from gas like oxygen and nitrogen present in the atmosphere of the earth thus the solar wind disturbs the earth's magnetosphere leading the charged particles in both solar wind and magnetospheric plasma primarily electrons and protons to precipitate in the upper atmosphere it is the resulting excitation and ionization of atmospheric constituents that light of varying colors and complexity is emitted so this is uh, the cause when streams of charged particles from sun collide with particles from gases like oxygen and nitrogen so it's better to note this down these are small things which you can remember what name has been given to the places around and between two gravitationally bound bodies where a third object could stay stationary relative to the other two uh, this is a point where interaction of gravitational forces creates a equilibrium and this point is called lagrange point lagrange point is position in space where combined gravitational forces of two large bodies such as earth and sun or earth and moon equal centrifugal force felt by a much smaller third body the interaction of these forces creates point of equilibrium where spacecraft may be parked to make observation these points are named after joseph louis lagrange an 18th century mathematician there are five such points between earth and sun namely l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 in these orbits the satellite requires very little energy to maintain its orbit and it will not be eclipsed from the sun what is the proximal diameter of milky way the milky way is a bar spiral galaxy 1 million to 1.2 million light years in diameter containing 200 to 400 billion stars so the correct answer is 1 million light years the pashupati seal discovered at mohenjodaro archaeological site by sir john marshall which has given rise to the protoshiva theory has the following characteristics one yogic posture and possible hatha yoga two surrounded by animals three sitting on a lotus choose the correct option the correct options are one or two uh, if you can see on your right side the image of protoshiva or pashupati seal is there you can see that they are not sitting on a lotus but he is surrounded by animals and he is sitting in a yogic posture so one and two are obviously correct so this posture is called lotus posture consider the following statements one the rebels in the revolt of 1857 had no clear perspective 
too many leaders of the revolt were defeated because of victory. Which among the above statements is or are correct? The correct answer is both 1 and 2. So causes of failure of the revolt can be narrowed down to the following. 1. Localized and poorly organized revolt. 2. Without a clear leader. 3. There was no mass support. 4. There was a lack of common ideal among sepoys. And 5. No support of ruling princes. In which year collector in each district of Bengal was made responsible for settling the revenue and collecting it? The correct answer here is 1786. In 1786, the Committee of Revenue was renamed as Board of Revenue and they quickly decided that they were too preoccupied with the details of judicial and revenue administration and that the centralized structure of the revenue administration would have to be reformed by giving increasing responsibilities to district authorities. In context with the Woods Dispatch, consider the following statements. 1. Woods Dispatch of 1854 laid the foundation of present system of education in India. 2. It helped the educational institutions founded private efforts to obtain grants from Government of India. 3. It made a provision of moral and religious education as important part of education. Which among the above is or are correct statements? So Charles Wood was a British liberal politician and member of parliament. Later, he became the president of the board of control of East India Company. In 1854, he sent the Woods Dispatch to the Governor General, Lord Dalhousie, and it had the following uh, memos. 1. An education department was to be set in every province. 2. Universities on the model of the London University were to be established in bigger cities such as Bombay, Calcutta and Madras. 3. At least one government school had to be opened in every district. D. Affiliated government schools would uh, be given grant in aid. And 5. The Indian natives should be given training in their mother tongue also. Now, these are foundations that are still supporting our education system. So, number one is true. Number two is also true. However, number three, which says that there were moral and religious grounds as well, is not true. Hence, only one and two is true. Option B is the correct answer. In context with the village headman of Gupta era in ancient India, consider the following statements. 1. The village headman used to manage the village daily affairs with the consent of the king. 2. No land transaction could be effected without the consent of the village headman. Which among the above statements is or are correct? Now, it is true that no land transaction could be effected without consent of the village headman. However, the first statement is incorrect because they used to manage village affairs with consent of elders of that village. So, only 2 is true. Consider the following statements. 1. The abundant female images suggest that goddesses played a central role in the Indus Valley civilization. 2. Female god figurines were abundant but male rare in the Chalkolithic communities. Which of the above statements is or are correct? As it turns out, both of them are true. Which among the following was or were the reason or reasons of a gradual increase in rural indebtedness in India under the British rule. 1. Fragmentation of land holdings. 2. Lack of irrigational facilities. 3. Decline of cottage industries. and 4. Introduction of cash crops. The correct option is 1, 2 and 3. Only the fourth option is wrong. There was an unprecedented and continuous growth of rural indebtedness under the British rule in India. The Famine Commission of 1880 even concluded that two-thirds of the landholding classes were in debt, whereas one-third of them deeply and inextricably in debt. In context with the permanent settlements of Bengal, introduced by Cornwallis, consider the following statements. 1. Peasants were put under the mercy of zamindars. 2. Zamindars were made allies of East India Company. 3. The system secured a stable income of East India Company. Which among the above statements is or are correct? The permanent settlement of Bengal was brought into effect by the East India Company, headed by the Governor General Lord Cornwallis, in 1793. This was basically an agreement between the company and the zamindars to fix the land revenues. So the zamindars were asked to collect the revenues from their subjects. 
The permanent settlement, however, created many problems. Company officials soon discovered that the zamindars were in fact not investing in the improvement of land and they were leaving the peasants to fend for themselves. The revenue had been fixed so high that the zamindars could not pay it. Anyone who failed to pay the revenue lost his zamindari. So all three of these are in fact correct. Which among the following was or were the reasons behind the rise of Magadha as imperial power in ancient India? 1. Strategic position surrounded by five hills and aggressive policy of rulers. 2. Rich and fertile zone with good communication channels. 3. Association with Buddhism and Gautam Buddha. As it turns out, only 1 and 2 are correct. One of the main factors behind the rise of Magadhan power was her economic solvency and growing prosperity. Magadha had a vast population which could be employed in agriculture, mining and for manning her army. The Sudras and the non-Aryans could be employed in clearing up the forest and reclaim surplus land for farming. The surplus population could easily live on yield of the surplus land. The Magadhan lands were very fertile due to its location between the Ganges and the Son. In the 4th century BCE, the Magadhan lands yielded multiple crops around the year. People of Magadhan Empire became prosperous due to fertility of the land and the government became automatically rich and powerful. Consider the following results of the Treaty of Yandabo. 1. The only territorial acquisition given to the British was Assam. 2. Indemnity of £1 million sterling was promised to British. 3. Guaranteed protection to British merchants was promised. Which among the above statements is true? The Treaty of Yandabo was the peace treaty signed on 24th February 1826 that ended the First anglo burmese War. The treaty was signed by General Sir Archibald Campbell on the British side and the Governor of Lagai, Mahamin Lakwahiti, from the Burmese side. The only territorial acquisition given to British was Asa. This is an incorrect statement because British got Manipur, Arakan, Taninthai along with Asa. Indemnity of one million pounds sterling was promised to British. This is a correct statement. And guaranteed protection to British merchants was promised. This is also a correct statement. So two and three are correct. Which among the following lakes makes the border tripoint of Kenya? Tanzania and Uganda. So if you see on the map, it's Lake Victoria. It is one of the African Great Lakes. The lake was named after Queen Victoria by the explorer John Hanning Speak, the first British resident to document it. With a surface area of approximately 59,947 square kilometers, Lake Victoria is Africa's largest lake by area and the world's largest tropical lake and also the world's second largest freshwater lake by surface area after Lake Superior in North America. Tulpul project is associated with which of the following rivers? So Tulpul project is associated with Jhelum. It is a sharing project between India and Pakistan located on Jhelum River in Jammu and Kashmir. And India calls it Tulbul Navigation Project, whereas Pakistan calls it the Volar Barrage. Pakistan considers construction of this barrage by India near Sopor in occupied Kashmir Valley as a violation of the 1960 Indus Water Treaty. Islamabad fears that the barrage can disrupt water flow into Pakistan. Pakistan also believes that it could be used by India to control the flow of the river and can be used as a geostrategic weapon. It also has the potential to disrupt the Triple Canal project of Pakistan, which is Upper Jhelum Canal, Upper Chanak Canal, and the Lower Bari Doab Canal. So far, different rounds of talks have been held on the disputed barrage. The two countries have held 13 rounds of talks on the issue so far, including four rounds under the composite dialogue. It has yet to resolve the issue. Which festival is celebrated in North India when Pongal is celebrated in Tamil Nadu? Pongal is a harvest festival dedicated to the sun god. It is a four-day festival which according to the Tamil calendar is usually celebrated from January 14 to January 17. 
Pongal corresponds to Makar Sankranti, which is the harvest festival celebrated throughout North India and other parts of India as well. This year, as you know, Makar Sankranti was on 14th of Jan. Sun is best kept in which among the following category? We already know that sun is a yellow star. So the correct answer here would be yellow dwarf. The sun is a variable star that is a big ball of glowing gas that evolves over time. This yellow dwarf is a hellish ball constantly shaken by the huge explosions that send in space massive amounts of matter. The first G20 summit was held in which among the following places? The first G20 summit happened between 14 and 15 November in 2008. It happened in Washington, USA. It achieved general agreement amongst the G20 on how to cooperate in key areas so as to strengthen economic growth, deal with the 2008 financial crisis, and lay the foundation for reform to avoid similar crises in the future. The summit resulted from an initiative by the French and European President Nicolas Sarkozy and the British Prime Minister Gordon Brown. Member countries were Argentina, Australia, Brazil, etc. You can note it down if you want. There are 19 participants to this summit. The Buckingham Canal, which was declared National Waterway of India, runs between the Buckingham Canal is a 796 kilometers long freshwater navigation canal that parallels the Coromandel coast of South India from Kakinada in the East Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh to Villupuram district in Tamil Nadu. It runs between Vijayawara and Villupuram. The canal connects most of the natural backwaters along the coast to Chennai port. Which among the following is the main aim of Asian Development Bank? Asian Development Bank or ADB is a regional development bank established on 19 December 1966. It defines itself as a social development organization that is dedicated to reducing poverty in Asia and the Pacific through inclusive economic growth, environmentally sustainable growth and regional integration. This is carried out through investment in the form of loans, grants, etc. Also information sharing in infrastructure, healthcare services, financial and public administration systems, etc., helping nations prepare for impact of climate change or better manage their natural resources as well as other areas. So among these options, the correct answer would be eradication of poverty from Asia Pacific. Future Luta is the lower house of the parliament of which among the following countries? The correct answer is Myanmar, which is known as the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. The Assembly of the Union or Pudangsu Lu is the national level bicameral legislature of Myanmar. It is made up of two houses, the Amyutya Luto, which is House of Nationalities, a 224-seat upper house, as well as the Pyutu Luta, a 440-seat lower house or House of Representatives. So bicameral legislature is this, lower house is Pitu Luta and upper house is Amyuta Luta. The Muslim militant group Hezbollah is predominantly based in Lebanon. So Hezbollah is a Shia Islamist political party and militant group based in Lebanon. They have been accused of more than 36 suicide attacks between 1982 and 1986 but they deny all of them. Which among the following is not directly controlled by RBI? The correct answer is base rate. Base rate is the minimum lending rate that banks can charge their customers from July 1st of 2010. Prior to this, all lending rates were pegged to a bank's prime lending rate or PLR. The banks were charging the customers an interest rate which was either above PLR or below PLR, this PLR serving as an anchor rate. From July 1st, 2010, the base rate has not only replaced the PLR as a benchmark rate, but it has also become the new floor rate below which no bank can lend. Who among the following established the Sadar Diwani Adalat? The Sadar Diwani Adalat was the Supreme Court of Revenue 
in British India, established at Calcutta by Warren Hastings in 1772. It was reformed in 1780 and again in 1793 by the British Parliament. The court's judges were the Governor General and Council members of the East India Company, assisted by native judges and officers of revenue. The court was established to allow Hindu Indians to be governed by Hindu law in matters of property and not as before by Muslim law, although they were still subject to Muslim criminal law. The court was abolished after the Indian Revolt of 1857. Which of the following acts created Supreme Court of Judiciary at Fort William? The correct answer is the Regulating Act of 1773 which established a Supreme Court at Fort William, Calcutta. The Supreme Court consisted of one Chief Justice and three other regular judges. Sir Elijah M. V. was the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. The East India Company was deprived of monopoly of trade with India, except tea trade, by which among the following acts. The correct answer is Chartered Act of 1813. The Chartered Act of 1813 ended the monopoly of East India Company in India. However, the company's monopoly in trade with China and trade in tea with India was kept intact. Thus, the trade with India for all commodities except tea was thrown open to all British subjects. This lasted till 1833 when the next charter abolished the trade of the company. By which among the following acts, the East India Company lost its monopoly of trade with China? The correct answer is the Charter Act of 1833. Charter Act of 1833 or the St. Helena Act of 1833 was passed by the British Parliament to renew the Charter of East India Company which was last renewed in 1830. By this act, the charter was renewed for 20 years, but the East India Company was deprived of its commercial privileges, which it enjoyed so far. The dual government introduced by Pitt's India Act continued to operate in India until it was abolished by which act? The correct answer is Government of India Act 1858, which marked the beginning of a new chapter in the constitutional history of India. The Act is also known as the Act for Good Government of India, provided for liquidation of East India Company and transferred the powers of government territories and revenues to the British Crown. Government of India Act 1858 provided that India was to be governed directly and in the name of the Crown. This Act abolished the company rule, abolished the court of directors and abolished the board of control. This Act abolished the dual government introduced by the Pitts India Act the principle of doctrine of lapse of was withdrawn, liberty was given to Indian rulers subject to British sovereignty and it also opened some door for Indians in government services. The constitution of India derives its ultimate authority from where? The correct answer is the people of India. The constitution draws its authority from the people and has been promulgated in the name of the people. This is evident from the preamble which states, We, the people of India, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this constitution. This implies that the direct authority of people cannot be claimed or asserted by the legislature. Under the constitution, legislature is a representative body, but people constitute the ultimate sovereign. Consider the following matches. Elements in Indian constitution to the source constitution. 1. Concurrent list to Australian Constitution 2. Directive principle to Irish Constitution 3. Fundamental rights to US Constitution Which among the above matches are correct? For that, let us first look at the influence of other Constitution. So, let us now match. So, first is concurrent list which is claimed uh, here that it was taken from the Australian Constitution. If we go to the Australia section in the picture, um, we see that, yeah, concrete list is there. Now we come to directive principle, which we find in the Irish constitution in this list, and fundamental rights, which comes from the constitution of the United States. Therefore, all three are correct. Which among the following features of constitution of India is derived from Weimar constitution of Germany? Let us go back once. So here if you see, in the other constitution section, 
the emergency provision under Article 356 is from the Weimar Constitution. So the correct answer here is suspension of fundamental rights during emergency. Who among the following was the constitutional advisor to the Constituent Assembly? The correct answer is Juris B. N. Rao, who was appointed constitutional advisor to the Assembly. Rao prepared the original draft of the Constitution and was later appointed a judge in the Permanent Court of International Justice in The Hague. In which year were Union territories introduced in India? Let's take a look at the picture. Uh, the State Reorganization Act takes effect in 1956, where 14 states and 6 union territories are formed on linguistic lines. So the correct answer is 1956. So reorganization of states on linguistic lines included abolition of class A, B, C, D states and introduction of union territories by Constitution 7th Amendment Act. Prairies are the grasslands typically found in North America. It is a region of flat, gentle, sloping or hilly land. For the most part, prairies are treeless, but near the low-lying plains, flanking river valleys, woodlands can be found. Tall grass, up to 2 meters high, dominates the landscape. It is actually a sea of grass. Sometimes a consumer is motivated to buy some commodity, not because it has become cheaper or the income has increased, but because the neighbors have purchased it. What is this effect called? The correct answer is demonstration effect, also known as bandwagon effect. Demonstration effects are effects on the behavior of individuals caused by observation of the actions of others and their consequences. The term is particularly used in political science and sociology to describe the fact that developments in one place will often act as a catalyst in another place. While calculating price elasticity of demand, which among the following should be constant? The correct answer is consumer's income. Price elasticity of demand is defined as the percentage of change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. The higher the income elasticity of demand in absolute terms for a particular good, the bigger consumers' response in their purchasing habits if their real income changes. Business typically evaluate income elasticity of demand for their products to help predict the impact of a business cycle on product sales. If two goods have no relationship with each other, what would be cross elasticity among them? The correct answer is zero. It is always the case with goods which have perfect substitutes for one another. Cross elasticity is zero if a change in the price of one commodity will not affect the quantity demanded of the other. In the case of goods which are not related to each other, cross elasticity of demand is zero. Bohak Bihu is a festival in Northeast India, mainly in the state of Assam. Bihu is the chief festival in the Assam state of India. It refers to a set of three different festivals, Rongali or Bohag Bihu, observed in April, Kongali or Kati Bihu, observed in October, and Bhogali or Mag Bihu, observed in January. Bohag Bihu usually falls on second week of April, historically signifying the time of harvest. What is the name of India's first woman Jawan? The correct answer is Shanti Tikka. Shanti Tikka is the first female Jawan in the Indian Army and joined when she was 35 and already had two children. Tikka was awarded the title of best trainee. Unfortunately, she met a tragic ending as it is assumed that she committed suicide after accusation that she had taken money for jobs. Chandipur on sea is located in which among the following states? Chandipur, also known as Chandipuram Sea, is a small sea resort in Baleshwar district of Orissa. The resort is on the Bay of Bengal and is approximately 16 kilometers from the Baleshwar railway station. The beach is unique in that the water recedes up to 5 kilometers during the ebb tide. It is also well known for its red crabs. Which among the following is the major objective of NASA's Kepler mission? 
Kepler is a retired space observatory launched by NASA to discover Earth-sized planets orbiting other suns. Named after astronomer Jonas Kepler, the spacecraft was launched on 7th of March 2009 into an Earth-trailing heliocentric orbit. The Kepler mission is specifically designed to survey our region of the Milky Way galaxy to discover hundreds of Earth-sized and smaller planets in or near the habitable zone and determine the fraction of the hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy that might have such planets. The Krishi Karma Awards are given to the correct answer is states. Krishi Karma Awards are given to best performer states for raising countries food grain production. These awards were instituted in 2010-11 for recognizing the meritorious efforts of states in food grains production. It comprises of three awards for total food grain production and four awards for production of crops that constitute the food grain that is rice, wheat, or cereals and pulses. Europa is the moon of which among the following planets? The correct answer is Jupiter. Jupiter has at least 67 known moons. The largest four are called Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. Europa is an icy moon of the planet Jupiter. It has long been a high priority for its exploration because it holds a salty liquid water ocean beneath its icy crust. The ultimate aim of NASA's Europa Clipper mission is to determine if Europa is habitable. Which among the following may not lead to inflation? The correct answer is drop in public expenditure. Inflation means there is a sustained increase in the price level. The main causes of inflation are either excess aggregate demand or economic growth is too fast or cost push factors like supply side factors. And the causes are demand pull inflation which means aggregate demand is growing faster than aggregate supply that is the growth is too rapid. Cost push inflation or higher oil prices are feeding through into higher costs for others. Devaluation or increasing cost of imported goods also boost up domestic demand. Rising wages where higher wages increase firms cause and increase consumers disposable income to spend more. Expectations of inflation which causes workers to demand wage increase and firms to push up prices. Which among the following may not be a consequence of inflation? The correct answer is equal distribution of income. Inflation is a decrease in the purchasing power of a currency due to a rise in prices across the economy. A predictable response to declining purchasing power is to buy now rather than later. Unfortunately, the urge to spend and invest in the face of inflation tends to boost the inflation in turn creating a potentially catastrophic feedback loop. Banks usually respond by lowering interest rates. Low rates encourage spending and investing, which generally stoke inflation in turn. When there is no central bank, inflation will generally lower borrowing costs. There is some evidence that inflation can push down unemployment. Wedges tend to be sticky, meaning that they change slowly in response to economic shifts. Unless there is an attentive central bank on hand to push up interest rates, inflation discourages saving since the purchasing power of deposits erodes over time. Stagflation kicks in. High inflation is usually associated with a slumping exchange rate, though this is generally a case of weaker currency leading to inflation, and not the other way around. Which among the following is India's first expressway? The correct answer is the Mumbai Pune Expressway, which is a six lane concrete high speed tolled access controlled 93 km long expressway. Who among the following headed the committee to review arrangements for institutional credit for agriculture and rural development or Crafikart in 1979, whose recommendations led to the establishment of NABAD? The correct answer is B. Sivaraman. The Committee to Review Arrangements for Institutional Credit for Agriculture and Rural Development set up by the Reserve Bank of India under the chairmanship of Sri B. Sivaraman conceived and recommended the establishment of 
the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development or NABARD. The Indian Parliament through the Act 61 of 1981 approved the setting up of NABARD. The bank which came into existence on 12 July 1982 was dedicated to the service of the nation by the Honorable Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi on 5th of November 1982. IMF can grant loan to any member country of IMF. The International Monetary Fund is an international organization headquartered in Washington DC consisting of 189 countries working to foster global monetary cooperation, secure financial stability, facilitate international trade, promote high employment and sustainable economic growth and reduce poverty around the world. It was formed in 1944. India Brand Equity Foundation or IBEF is a public private partnership between the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India and who the correct answer is Confederation of Indian Industry or CII. Indian Brand Equity Foundation is a trust established by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. IBEF's primary objective is to promote and create international awareness of Make in India label in markets overseas and to facilitate dissemination of knowledge of Indian products and services towards this objective. IBEF works closely with stakeholders across government and industry. It is funded and completely owned by the government of India. Socioeconomic planning is a part of which list? The correct answer is concurrent list. The concurrent list or list 3 of the 7 schedule is a list of 52 items. Though the last item itself is numbered 47 given in the 7th schedule to the constitution of India. It includes the power to be considered by both the central and state government. If you take a look at the Venn diagram on screen, it should give you a clear idea. Interest rate policy is declared as part of monetary policy. Monetary policy refers to the policy of central bank, that is Reserve Bank of India, in matters of interest rates, money supplies and availability of credit. It is through this monetary policy that RBI controls inflation in the country. Historically, from 2000 until 2013, India's interest rate averaged 6.6%, .6%, reaching an all-time high of 14.5% in August of 2000 and a record low of 4.3% in April of 2009. In which among the following forms, the special drawing rights or SDR, are kept as currency of International Monetary Fund. The correct answer is book keeping entry. SDR was created by the IMF in 1969 as a supplementary international reserve asset. Technically, SDR is not a currency. The value of SDR is based on the basket of the four major currencies, US dollars, Euro, UK pound, and Japanese yen. From 1st October 2016, one will be the fifth currency in the basket. The IMF members who hold the SDR are allowed to freely exchange their SDR with any of the four currencies in the IMF's basket. Generally, countries exchange their SDR with four major currencies to meet their trade needs with other countries. In context with SEBI, which among the following is not a correct statement? Its chairman is appointed by the president is not a correct statement. In April 1988, the SEBI was constituted as the regulator of capital markets in India under the resolution of the Government of India. The SEBI is managed by its members, which consists of the following. The chairman, who is nominated by the Union Government of India, and two members, that is, officers from the Union Ministry. Which among the following is not a part of World Bank? The correct answer is Asian Development Bank. World Bank is one of the five institutions created at Bretton Woods Conference in 1944. It is part of the United Nations system, but its governance structure is different. It's headquartered at Washington, D.C., the U.S. World Bank provides loans to developing countries for capital programs. It comprises only of two institutions, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, an international development association. 
in contrast wolfram group comprises three more that is international finance corporation multilateral investment guarantee agency and international center for settlement of investment disputes national security guards was created by the government of india on the pattern of special air service and gsg9 of two european countries which are these countries the correct answer is uk and germany national security guard is an indian special forces unit under the ministry of home affairs it was raised in 1984 following operation blue star and the assassination of indira gandhi for combating terrorist activities with a view to protect states against internal disturbances national sample survey organization conducts nationwide sample surveys on various socio economic issues in successive rounds each round covering subjects of current interest in a specific survey period who is the founder of this organization the correct answer is professor p c mahalanobis the ministry of statistics and program implementation is a ministry of government of india concerned with the coverage and quality aspects of statistics released the surveys conducted by the ministry are based on scientific sampling method it came into existence as a independent ministry on 15 10 after the merger of the department of statistics and the department of program implementation the free electrons are in the outermost orbit the electrons which are not attached to the nucleus of an atom and free to move when external energy is applied are called free electrons you can see in the picture they are on the outermost orbit which among the following is the unit of insurance in the national agricultural insurance scheme the correct answer is gram panchayat National Agriculture Insurance Scheme was implemented with effect from Kharif 1999 to enlarge the coverage of risk of farmers and crops. The scheme operates on basis of area approach and each participating state or union territory is required to reach the level of gram panchayat as the unit area of insurance in a period of 3 years. At which among the following places India's first rail coach factory was built with public private partnership the correct answer is palakkad however with the union railway minister piyush goel making it clear that the center has no immediate plans to initiate construction of this rail coach factory the long anticipated development project of the state is now facing an imminent death in which year was the un human rights council established the correct answer is 2006 the general assembly established the unhrc by adopting a resolution on 15th march 2006 in order to replace the previous commission on human rights which had been heavily criticized for allowing countries with pure human rights records to be members Which among the following organization helps world's poorest countries? The correct answer is IDA. The International Development Association is the part of the World Bank that helps the world's poorest countries. It complements the World Bank's other lending arm, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, which serves middle-income countries with capital investment and advisory services. Seoul Communic is related to nuclear safety the seoul communique was the outcome of the 2012 nuclear summit at seoul it builds on the objectives and measures set out in 2010 washington communique to identify 11 areas of priority and importance in nuclear security and present specific actions in each area the 11 areas are the global nuclear security architecture the role of the iaea nuclear materials radioactive sources nuclear security and safety transportation security combating illicit trafficking nuclear forensics nuclear security culture information security and international cooperation raja ramanna center for advanced technology which is engaged in development of technology and applications of particle accelerators and lasers besides carrying out substantial activities in cryogenic 
Products and Materials Research is located at? The correct answer is Indoor. This is a unit of Department of Atomic Energy of Government of India engaged in R&D in non-nuclear frontline research areas of lasers, particle accelerators and related technologies. It was founded on 19 February 1984. In which year the Damodar Valley Corporation, which is the first multipurpose river valley project of India, was launched? The correct answer is 1948. The Damodar Valley is a government organization which operates several power stations in the Damodar River area of West Bengal and Jharkhand states of India. The corporation operates both thermal power station and hydro power stations under the Ministry of Power, Government of India. TBC is headquartered in the city of Kolkata, West Bengal. Center for Wind Energy Technology or CWET is located at? The correct answer is Chennai. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy established the Center for Wind Energy and Technology at Chennai in 1998 to 99 to cater to the emerging wind industry. Prior to that, the MNRE was providing policy level initiatives to a field that was almost entirely dependent upon imported technologies and services. What is the use of venturi meter? The correct answer is to measure rate of flow of fluids. The venturi effect is the reduction in fluid pressure that results when a fluid flows through a constricted section of a pipe. The venturi effect is named after Giovanni Battista Venturi, an Italian physicist. A venturi meter is a device used to measuring the rate of flow of a fluid through a pipe. The jute entrepreneurs of which of the following countries were once called jute barons? The correct answer is Scotland. British jute barons grew rich processing jute and selling manufactured products made from jute. Dundee jute barons and the British East India Company began to set up jute mills in Bengal and by 1895, jute industries in Bengal overtook the Scottish jute trade. Many Scots emigrated to Bengal to set up jute factories. Ceylon became a stronghold of which among the following branches of Buddhism? The correct answer is Henan Buddhism. Henana Buddhism is a pejorative name given by the followers of Mahayana Buddhism to the more conservative schools of early Buddhism. The tradition died out in India, but it survived in Sri Lanka, formerly also known as Ceylon, as the Theravada school and was taken from there to other regions of Southeast Asia. Who among the following was king of Magadha at the time of Mahanirvana of Gautam Buddha? The correct answer is Ajat Shatru. Ajat Shatru was a king of Haryanka dynasty of Magadha in East India. He was the son of King Bimbisara and was a contemporary of both Mahavir and Gautam Buddha. According to Mahapari Nirvana Sutta, when Pataliputra was being erected, by chance the Buddha came there and praised the city of Pataliputra and pointed to three things which would prove fatal to the city, fire, water and discord among the people. Who is the chief executive head of state? The correct answer is governor. The provision related to the state executive are in Articles 153 to 167. The state executive is made of governor, chief minister, council of ministers and advocate general. The executive authority of a state is vested in the governor and the governor is the constitutional head of the state in the same way as president is the constitutional head of the union. Who can remove a chief justice of Supreme Court? The correct answer is the president on a resolution by parliament. A judge of the Supreme Court can be removed from his position by president only on ground of proof of misbehavior or incapacity. The power of investigation and proof of such misbehavior or incapacity is vested in the parliament. Each house in order to remove the judge will have to pass a resolution which is supported by two thirds of members present in voting and majority of the total membership of the house. In economic language, which of the following term is used when there is a drop in Indian rupee? The correct answer is depreciation. Devaluation means official lowering of the value of country's currency within a fixed exchange rate system 
by which the monetary authority formally sets a new fixed rate with respect to a foreign reference currency. This is why devaluation is not the correct answer. However, in contrast, depreciation is used for the unofficial decrease in the exchange rate in a floating exchange rate system. Which among the following state or union territory of India has lowest population density as per the provisional data of census 2011? The correct answer is Arunachal Pradesh. As per the data, population density of India stands at 382, which is 17.5% more than 325 in the census of 2001. NCT of Delhi with 11,297 has the highest density in India, followed by Chandigarh where population density stands at 9252. Population density of Arunachal Pradesh in contrast is 17, which is lowest among all states and union territories in India. Lowest population density among union territories is of Andaman and Nicobar Islands at 46. Who determines the composition of UPSC? The correct answer is the President. UPSC is the central recruiting agency in India. Articles 315 to 323 in Part 14 of the Constitution contain detailed provisions regarding its composition, appointment, removal of its members, etc. The UPSC consists of a chairman and other members. They are appointed by the President of India. What is the correct chronological order of creation of Assam, Nagaland, Goa and Mizoram? So Nagaland was formed in 1963. Mizoram was formed on 20th February 1987. Goa as a state was formed in 30th May 1987. Uh, so the correct order is Assam followed by Nagaland. Mizoram and Go. Which among the following is not a derivative instrument in capital markets? The correct answer is dividend. So derivatives are securities that derive their value from an underlying asset or benchmark. Common derivatives include future contracts, options and swaps. Most derivatives are not traded on exchange and are used by institutions to hedge risk or speculate on price changes in the underlying asset. On which of the following charges Bal Gangadhar Tilak was arrested in 1908? The correct answer is sedition. On July 3, 1908, Bal Gangadhar Tilak was arrested for sedition by the British. He was born as Keshav Gangadhar Tilak and was popularly known as Lokomanya Tilak. He was a popular Indian nationalist and independence activist who was one of the first popular leaders of the freedom movement. Balwant Rai Mehta, a pioneer of Panchayati Raj and a distinguished freedom fighter, was chief minister of which state? The correct answer is Gujarat. Balwant Rai Mehta was one of the legendary freedom fighters of our country who participated in the Bardoli Satyagraha. He is best known as the second chief minister of Gujarat and he is credited for pioneering the concept of Panchayat Raj in India and is also known as the father of Panchayati Raj in India. Who among the following was the author of Mahatma, Life of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi? If you see in the picture, it's D.G. Tendulkar. Dinanath Gopal Tendulkar was an Indian writer and documentary filmmaker. He is most well known as the author of an eight-volume biography of Mahatma Gandhi, which is titled as Mahatma, Life of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. He was also a close associate of Vithal Bhai Javeri and collaborated with him in the documentary film Mahatma, Life of Gandhi, 1869-1948 Riksdag is the name of parliament of which of the following countries? The correct answer is Sweden. It is the national legislature and the supreme decision-making body of Sweden. Since 1971, it has been a unicameral legislature which 349 members elected proportionally and serving from 1994 onwards on a fixed four-year terms. So you don't need to remember all of that. Uh, it's just that Sweden has a unicameral legislature which has uh, 349 members and these members have four-year terms. Who among the following has written Bidrohi? One of the most famous Bengali poem. The correct answer is Kazi Najrul Islam. So Kazi Najrul Islam 
is one of the most famous Bengali poets and Vidrohi is one of his most famous works. It was written by him in December of 1921 and it was first collected in 1922 in a volume titled Ogni Veena, the first anthology of Nasrul's poems. The Economic Advisory Council has been established in India as per None of these options are correct. The Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister is a non-constitutional, non-permanent and independent body constituted to give economic advice to the Government of India, specifically the Prime Minister. Which of the following is generally called a talk shop? The correct answer is World Economic Forum. The World Economic Forum is based in Cologne, Geneva, Switzerland and was founded in 1971 as a not-for-profit organization. It gained formal status in January 2015 under the Swiss Host State Act, confirming the role of the forum as an international institution for public-private cooperation. In which of the following river Jordan drains? The correct answer is Dead Sea, as you can see on the map. The Jordan River has an upper coast from its sources to the Sea of Galilee and a low coast south of the Sea of Galilee down to the Dead Sea. Which among the following is the correct designation of Hindi in India? The correct answer is the official language of the Union of India. So there's a, a story behind this. So the Indian constitution in 1950 declared Hindi in Dev Nagari script to be the official language of the Union. Unless parliament decided otherwise, the use of English for official purposes was supposed to cease in 15 years after the constitution came into effect, that is on 26 January 1965. The prospect of the changeover, however, led to much alarm in the non-Hindi speaking areas of India, especially Dravidian speaking states, whose languages were not related to Hindi at all. As a result, parliament enacted the Official Languages Act in 1963, which provided for the continued use of English for official purposes along with Hindi even after 1965. Which among the following state or union territory got birth with the Punjab Reorganization Act of 1966? The correct answer is Haryana. The Punjab Reorganization Act was passed by the Indian Parliament on 18 September 1966. It divided Punjab and created a new state of Haryana and transferred territory to Himachal Pradesh as well. Then a union territory, which is the city of Chandigarh, uh, was which was going to serve as the capital of both the residue of Punjab and Haryana, was also carved out. So Chandigarh did exist before that too, but it uh, kind of fell in the border between Haryana and Punjab. So we granted it the status of a union territory and it became their common capital. Which among the following constitution is similar to Indian constitution because of a strong center? The correct answer is Canada. We have adopted the idea of federal structure with a strong center from the Canadian constitution. Uh, for example, the residuary powers that is mentioned in the article 248 are with the center, which shows that the center is dominant over state governments. Town planning committees are constituted as part of which of the following amendments of Indian constitution? The correct answer is the 74th Amendment Act. The 74 Amendment Act, passed in 1992, has been introduced as a new part of a 9A in the Constitution and it deals with municipalities in Article 243P to 243ZG. This amendment, also known as the Nagar Palika Act, came into force on 1st June of 1993. 38th parallel border line divided which of the following? The correct answer is North and South Korea. So this line is a circle of latitude that is 38 degrees north of the Earth's equatorial plane. It crosses Europe, the Mediterranean Sea, Asia, the Pacific Ocean, North America and the Atlantic Ocean. It, uh, it forms the border between North and South Korea prior to the Korean War. In which year was the National Rural Health Mission launched originally? The correct answer is 2005. So it was launched on 5th April of 2005 by the then Indian Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. 
uh, and it was initially tasked with addressing the health needs of 18 states that had been identified as having weak public health indicators. In which year new telecom policy was announced? The correct answer is 1999. So, uh, there was another uh, new telecom policy back in 1994 but it was not being fulfilled and there had some uh, there had been some far reaching developments which meant that the policy needed to be revamped so uh, what happened is uh, this new policy kind of converged the markets and new technologies uh, realigning the uh, telecom industry itr or integrated test range is located where the correct answer is chandipur which is in orissa uh, this integrated test range, sometimes referred to as interim test range, is a missile testing facility composed of two complexes, a launch complex 4 or LC4 located on Abdul Kalam Island and launch complex 3 or LC3 located at Chandipur. General Secretariat of Interpol is located where? Correct answer being France. So the International Criminal Police Organization, often known as uh, Interpol, is uh, the international organization that facilitates international police cooperation. It was established as the International Criminal Police Commission in 1923 and it chose Interpol as its telegraphic address in 1946 and made it its common name in 1956. Pat Shanalma or Chronicles of the Emperor written by Abdul Hamid Lahori is the official visual history giving a detailed account of the reign of which of the falling Mughal emperor. The correct answer is Shah Jahan. The Padshah Nama or Chronicles of the Emperor is a genre of works written as the official visual history of Mughal emperor in Shah Jahan's reign. Most significant work of this genre was written by Abdul Hamid Lahori in two volumes. Bhimbetka in Madhya Pradesh is an ancient Indian site where art of prehistoric age are found preserved in rock shelters. These arts belong to 1. Paleolithic age, 2. Mesolithic age, 3. Chalcolithic age. Choose the correct option. The drawings and paintings from Bhimbetka can be classified under seven different periods. Upper Paleolithic ones are linear representations. In green and dark red of huge figures of animals such as bison, tigers and rhinoceros, Mesolithic was comparatively small in size. The stylized figures in this group show linear decoration on their body. In addition to animals, there are human figures and hunting scenes, giving a clear picture of the weapons they used. Barbed spears, pointed sticks, bows and arrows. Similarly to the paintings of the Mesolithic, the Chalcolithic drawings, Reveal that during this period, the cave dwellers of this area were in contact with the agricultural communities of the Malwa Plains, exchanging goods with them. So you can see that all three ages are represented. So the correct answer is 1, 2, and 3. Hamim Humam, who was the chief of royal school or Patshala, adorned the court of Vishnukul Emperor. The correct answer is Akbar. Hamim Humam was one of the Navratnas of Akbar. Navratnas was a term applied to a group of nine extraordinary people in an emperor's court in India. The well-known Navratnas include the ones in the courts of the legendary emperor Vikramaditya, the Mughal emperor Akbar and the feudal lord Raja Krishnachandra. Which Mughal emperor had put a ban on killing of animals in certain days? Akbar had put a ban on killing animals on certain days in the year 1583. Ustad Isa is related to the design and architecture of which of the following buildings in Mughalara. The correct answer is the Taj Mahal. Ustad Isa Shirazi was a Persian architect often described as the assistant architect of the Taj Mahal in Agra, India. The lack of complete and reliable information as to whom the credit for the design belonged to led to innumerable speculations. Scholars suggest the story of Ustad Isa was born of the eagerness of the British in the 19th century to believe that such a beautiful building should be credited to a European architect. Sud Sagar, a treatise on music, was written during the reign of which of the following Mughal emperors? The correct answer is Akbar. 
Sursakar was written by Sudas in the 16th century. Sudas was a blind Hindu devotional poet and singer who was known for his lyrics written in the praise of Krishna. They are usually written in Brajabhasha, one of the two literary dialects of Hindi. Babur, the founder of the mighty Mughal Empire, traced his lineage to Taimur from paternal lineage and Chinggis Khan from maternal lineage. Jujhar Singh, who was a Bandela chief, had revolted against Shah Jahan. While many Bandela chiefs served Mughals loyally, Jujhar Singh revolted. In whose times the Mughal Empire reached its territorial climax? If you look at the map, you can see Aurangzeb's reign has the largest area covered. So the correct answer is Aurangzeb. He was a notable expansionist during his reign and the Mughal Empire reached its greatest extent, ruling over nearly all of the Indian subcontinent. During his lifetime, victories in the south expanded the Mughal Empire to 4 million square kilometers and he ruled over a population estimated to be over 158 million subjects with an annual yearly revenue of 450 million dollars in the year 1690. Under his reign, the Mughal Empire surpassed China to become the world's largest economy worth over 90 billion, nearly a quarter of the world GDP in 1700s. Akbar had adopted the Ray system of revenue assessment, which he had abolished later as part of his land revenue reforms. Who among the following had introduced the race system? The correct answer is Alauddin Khilji. So no change was made till his 10th year, that is Akbar's 10th year of reign, that is 1566, after which it was changed into a single price list. Which among the following types of clouds are associated with structure resembling the piles of cauliflower? The correct answer is cumulus clouds which are puffy clouds that sometimes look like pieces of floating cotton. The base of each cloud is often flat and maybe only 1000 meters above ground. The top of the cloud has rounded towers. Which among the following countries also known as crossroads of Central Asia? The correct answer is Afghanistan. Central Asia has historically been closely tied to its nomadic people and the Silk Road. Afghanistan has acted as a crossroads for the movement of people, goods and ideas between Europe, Western Asia, South Asia and East Asia. Kultrum is a currency of which of the following countries? The correct answer is Bhutan. It is the currency of the Kingdom of Bhutan and is subdivided into 100 Chetam. The Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan is the minting authority of it and uh, it is currently pegged to Indian rupee at parity, that is, one Indian rupee is equal to one gultra. What is the distance between consecutive longitudes at poles? The correct answer is zero kilometer. A degree of longitude is widest at the equator with a distance of 111 kilometers. The distance gradually shrinks to zero as they meet at the poles. At 40 degree north or south, the distance between degrees of longitude is 85 kilometers. During which of the following events, the distance between sun and earth is maximum? The correct answer is aphelion. Earth is close to the sun during perihelion and that is around 3rd January, while it's furthest from the sun at aphelion, which is around 4th of July. Which among the following is the average orbital speed of the earth around the sun? The correct answer is 29.7 kilometers. The orbital speed of the Earth around the Sun averages to about 30 kilometers or 29.7 kilometers, which is fast enough to cover the planet's diameter in 7 minutes and the distance to the Moon of 384,000 kilometers in 4 hours. Which among the following soil is rich in mineral? The correct answer is alluvial soil. As many alluvial soils are good for plant growth, these soils contain useful concentrations of minerals and elements needed by plants for growth like calcium, sodium, potassium, silicon, phosphorus, typically phosphates, nitrogen as nitrates or ammonium salts, carbonates, sulfates, etc. 
which among the following soil has been formed by the weathering of ancient metamorphic and crystalline rocks and is rich in iron content the correct answer is red soil which is formed by the weathering of ancient crystalline and metamorphic rocks particularly acid granites and gneisses quartzitic rocks and felsipathic rocks chemically red soil is siliceous and aluminous with free quartz as sand but is rich in potassium ranging from sand to clay with the majority being loamy which among the following is the source of brahmaputra river so if you look at the map it is the angsi glacier so the correct answer is angsi glacier brahmaputra originates from this glacier located on the northern side of the himalayas in burang country of tibet as the yolang sangpo river and flows south tibet to break through the himalayas in great gorges Sangpo enters India after taking a new turn at Namcha Barwa and flows in Arunachal Pradesh and here we call it the Hang River or Siang River. Which among the following is the largest river system among the Deccan system of rivers? The correct answer is Godavari. With a length of 1465 kilometers, Godavari is India's second largest river that runs within the country and also the longest river in South India. It originates near Trimbak in Nashik district of Maharashtra state and flows east across the Deccan plateau into the Bay of Bengal near Narasimpuram in West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. The river is also known as Dakshin Ganga and Gautami. The Manjra and Indravati rivers are its major tributaries. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.